All right, standing by with former NFL All-Pro star, Amon Green. Amon, you're here at this Halo event. You, you've been a big gamer for a long time. Has this always been something you've been interested in, the eSports side of things? Oh, uh, yes. Since I've been out of the game, it's just one of the, I say, hobbies or activities that I've done while I was playing. But now, since I got the time, I'm not a full-time football player. I got time to focus on it. And for me, the competitive side of it is the part that, that draws me to it. That's the, and then from then, the passion and love for certain games. And, you know, Halo 3 was the game that got me here. Um, literally, that's why I'm here today, because of the love of that back in 2007 has grown. And then all the networking from different tournaments or different video game conventions that I've been to, from E3 to PAX to Comic-Con, because there's, there's a few gaming events that goes on at those events as well. So networking with the right people, asking the right questions, and then letting people know that I'm not just here because of my celebrity. I'm not here. I'm not just here just to waste your time. I'm here because I'm passionate about it, and I see. I, could, I see the. I, I say kind of see the future of this video game industry, esports industry, or what it can be for another. I say another generation of kids and adults growing up. Because then, just like I was when I was growing up as a kid, I could go into football or baseball or basketball as a profession if I train and work hard at it. But that's the similarities. You got to train and work hard to become the next faker or rookie or air problem right or snake you know snake bite things of that nature you got to put that work in but it's different you're not get, getting beat up you know you're not getting knocked out and like man where am i you're shooting it's a virtual thing it's not real shooting because you when you have these conversations with people i'm I, i'm talking to somebody i'm talking about how many headshots i had and people are like looking at me like What's up? uh what are you talking <laughs> about shooting when they mean i need to call the police no i'm talking about video games ma'am right. and so now the kids can actually do something productive because my generation and right after that i was a generation of kids when playing video games was too long was a bad thing right. and now i tell my friends that are now parents of young kids 10 11 12 years old you want your son or daughter be down there gaming, it's okay. Because they can earn a scholarship, they can have a job for a very long time if they're really good at it, and it could go into like what you're doing and what I'm doing, going and commentating about it, analyzing it, and make it something more legitimate, I say a professional, and I say make a career out of it, basically. It's, it's a whole new sort of industry that a lot of people are getting really excited about. Do you see a lot of parallels between traditional sports and esports? Do you think that players need the same sort of mentality between the two, or do you think there's a big gap there? Uh, no, it's the same. They have to have the same mindset. It's a, I was just talking to, having a conversation with folks here today and yesterday. An esports athlete has to have that mentality as, okay, I want to be the best at this game. I want to be the best at Halo, Halo 3, Halo 5, what have you, Madden, CSGO. So that means I got to work hard at it. I got to put practice time in. I got to get the certain amount of hours of sleep. I got to take good care of my body physically. That means I got to go in the weight room. Got to, not like a football player, <laughs> right. traditional sport wise, but I got to be in shape to make sure when I'm on stage, if I make it on stage at a big event, that I'm able to focus the hand eye coordination, hear the call outs from my teammates and work together. So that means practice with my teammates, not just work on my own going online in multiplayer. No, that means some time of the day, organize a schedule to get online with my teammates or physically sit next to each other so we can learn how to work together, you know, in the process. So that that's the part of where that's the same thing as what I had to do being a football player or playing baseball when I was a kid growing up. I went to practice. I conditioned. I was in the weight room. I ate good food. I got sleep. And then at that time, I was in school. I had to get A's and B's to graduate to on the high school and on the college. All of that is a part of it. So don't just think you'll come into the esports industry and just crush it like you are online at home. No, it's a whole world that a part of it that if you don't do certain things, you won't be able to get there. But you got to one of the big things is you got to put that hard work in. Some, so many people here have put that hard work in and earned their spots. A dude that has been killing it on our station, Scott Gandhi's back in the building. He was competing a little bit in Halo 1. Did you get a chance to go over and see any of that or maybe participate in the free-for-all yourself? I was trying to petition. Okay, this is, this is where I'm, I'm learning. This, like I said, this is my first event. So you know what happened to me we're waiting in the free-for-all line? Yeah. I was so excited about being here, I left my remote in my hotel room. Oh, no. So I stood in this line for like an hour, and I'm looking at everything. I'm like... I asked the guy in front of me, um, do I need my own remote or do they supply one? He's like, no, you need your own. I'm like, no, you couldn't be like, yo, I'm on green. Give me that headset. Like, you couldn't throw that out there? No, I'm not that guy. I don't do that. I've never done that in my life. I mean, I probably can. Yeah. I could play that card. I say I've only maybe played it maybe once, and that was probably to get to the bathroom. I didn't want to stand in the back of the line. I was like, look, I got to really go. 
you know, you just watched me play the game the other day. You know, that was it. I'm not, but no, I never really used that part. But yeah, I was like, oh, I gotta get, yeah, I gotta bring my. I see all these guys standing remotes. It didn't. It, it finally clicked. You know. So. Well, I'll I'll be that guy for you. I'll go get you a remote and a headset, and we'll set you up for some free for all. Amon Green, big Halo fan, big esports fan. I know you got a lot going on. You got your own Twitch stream and that kind of stuff. Tell us where you can find you. Um, you can find me on Twitch Mondays, Wednesdays, and Saturday between seven and ten p.m. Amon Green TV on Twitch, and actually on Tuesday afternoon starting uh, on Twitch as well. TGFN Live will be basically the sports center for esports. Myself and Nixie, who is also a streamer out there in the stream world of uh, content creators, is going to be my co-host on that show. So this Tuesday at 1 or 1 o'clock on January 15th, check us out. Check them out. Amon Green, NFL superstar turning esports superstar pretty soon. Thank you very much, man.